Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D shop and today uh, let's talk about a problem I had uh, during last weekend with my Monoprice Mini uh, Select printer. So what did happen last weekend? I was, uh, was finished printing something during the night, so the printer was idling. It's connected to the Octoprint via USB. That seems to be one of the trigger thing about this problem. And then the only thing I did is go to the menu, heat up the nozzle and heat up the bed manually to choose the, the temperature 210 for the nozzle and 50 for the bed and then came out of the menu and gone to the home axis menu in the move menu and it did home its axis that was fine and then normally after that you can level the bed easily so you so after uh, about five seconds after the the axes are homed you can move the bed and the head and um, do the leveling that way with, with the, the head the, with everything hot so it's the level is good but that time the bed didn't move so I waited and the bed didn't move so I waited and if I remember the little fan was not turning either it should turn when the hot hand is beginning to heat so but I didn't notice that right away Anyway, I, w I waited and it wasn't moving. Waited again, another 10 seconds, it wasn't moving. And you know, 50, uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and nothing was happening. I didn't check, I wasn't in the menu for the, the temperature, I was still in the move menu. And nothing happened, and suddenly smoke came out of the, of the nozzle, big thick smoke. I didn't have time to film it i just turned off the the printer and then took something to you know uh, reduce the heat on the nozzle after that nothing was printing the it wasn't coming out the plastic wasn't coming out of the nozzle and then i had to uh, dismantle the hot end and and if you look here that was the PTFE lining inside the heat break. So you see the PTFE lining in, that was in inside the heat break and I broke the heat break. So I replaced it with this small heat break that I had in stock. It has a smaller PTFE tube lining, but it has thicker walls for the heat break. I think it's going to be better. So. That did scare me a bit because I don't want to, you know, burn everything here or, or come here and there's smoke everywhere and it smells bad. I think I need something to check on this little printer just to be sure because I leave it running, you know, all day. It's, it's not practical to be around your printer if it takes, you know, a day or more to print something or 16 hours. Since there's a bug inside the firmware and I don't have access to the firmware, I think I'm gonna do a hardware watchdog that is completely separate of the printer so that I can shut off the printer manually uh, from, from work or from anywhere or it will shut down itself in case of some uh, parameters that sensors gonna detect. Let me show you one of the prototypes that I did during this weekend, what I'm thinking about. Okay, so this is my prototype. You have a Arduino Uno, which is a small microcontroller, a gas detector, a gas and smoke detector, and a small OLED display, a relay that can switch 12 volt. This is to simulate the, the the printer on or off this is a temperature and humidity sensor and this is my switch for turning on and off the printer 
and here you have a voltage a voltage divider that will measure the, the voltage of the printer right now it's measuring the voltage of the arduino but it's designed to measure the 12 volts so if i plug it in right away you see the level of gas detection it, it has to go down a bit because it's an alarm right now and it has to be warmed up uh, it's gonna take you know about a minute or 30 seconds but usually it's gonna be plugged so when it goes below 400 everything is okay so you have statuses of the gas sensor with okay and the reading that is done and the temperature and the reading of this temperature sensor and the voltage that is read here and the printer status so if i push the button the printer comes on and I if i push the button again nothing happens but if i push it long enough about two seconds now the printers is come off what i'm thinking is at first you power the, the, the system right that, like that and everything is okay so no detection of a trouble so you just push the button the printer comes on and you go on with your printing and say you have a problem like um, you lose a sensor the printer goes off because the sensor is now offline and if it comes back it won't come back again you have to manually push the button to turn on the printer again and if it detects gas this is pretty cool this is a small lighter so if i just give it a little bit of gas the gas reading is going to go over 400 and it's going to shut down the printer like that so and even and you, you see there is an error here the exclamation mark says that there is a trigger on that and then it's gonna it's, it's gonna go under 400 again and it doesn't come on again you have to push the button manually to turn on the printer so and i think i'm gonna also include a thermistor that i have here and i'm gonna include a second thermistor like you have in the nozzle for the the printer because I cannot read the one that's in the printer so I'm gonna you know put another one just on top of it or something like that and make a reading of that but that's the prototype it's working I'm gonna in a future view I'm gonna install it and I hope you like this video and if you did please subscribe maybe push that little bell to be notified when a new video has come out give me a thumbs up if you like this video and see you in the next video ciao So I hope you like this little video. If you did, and I hope you like this little, no, but little. <laughs>